Petco partners, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I simply cannot say it enough. I truly appreciate all you're doing in this challenging environment to stay Petco strong. The world continues to face the biggest health challenge of our lifetime, but we're starting to see a sunrise on the horizon thanks to a plateau in many areas. Each of us is still affected and these are hard times for everyone. Through it all, we continue to stay focused on taking care of pets, taking care of all of you, keeping our communities safe, and protecting the long-term health of our business, all of which is already part of who we are at Petco. It's in our DNA, and it has everything to do with improving lives. Because of you, so many animals are being fed and well cared for, staying safe and healthy with their families during these uncertain times. And in our vet hospitals, pet lives are being saved every single day. From protecting your safety to keeping you employed, I'm committed to doing my absolute best because you deserve nothing less. So we're making meaningful and responsible adjustments to our business operations as we navigate this challenge. And that includes everything from scaling our digital business as much and as fast as possible to making tangible shifts in our overall cost structure. Just this week, we further refined our grooming offerings to focus only on that which is essential to the health and wellness of pets. Because without proper routine grooming care and hygiene, pets can be at risk for infections. So as we move forward, we'll continue to stay vigilant in protecting the health and safety of both people and pets, including those of you who continue to courageously serve pets and families from the front lines of our stores. We will maintain rigorous cleaning and sanitizing protocols and safe social distancing for as long as necessary. In the last few weeks, we've reacted on a dime to constantly changing CDC guidelines, and we sent you hundreds of thousands of masks within days of their change in direction. Has it been perfect? No. We've never had to order masks in this type of quantity or environment before, but we did so as fast as possible, and we appreciate those of you who've tried to procure them centrally, made your own, or found other ways to plug supply chain holes as we work to scale our procurement for all of you. You have my word that we'll keep doing all we can to keep you safe and protected. In recognition of the incredible courage and compassion that you've shown, despite a dramatic slowdown in store traffic and sales, we will be providing store partners who are working on the front lines with $3.6 million in bonus checks on May 1st, because it's the right thing to do. With stay-at-home orders in place, this traffic and sales decline creates a challenge. Not a crisis, but a challenge for Petco. Much of our core services are suspended or significantly scaled back, and our non-essential supplies business is also heavily impacted. To make sure the amount of money that we have coming in is equal to or greater than the amount of money we have going out for items like rent, logistics and partner compensation, we needed to take action so we can emerge from this storm well positioned to continue building on the incredible momentum we created pre-COVID. Earlier this week, we announced some difficult decisions and temporary changes that affect the entire Petco family. These are decisions no leader ever wants to make, but I assure you, none of them were made lightly and all of them were intended to minimize the financial impact on each of you. Like families do, we will lighten the load by shouldering the burden together. And that starts with me. I will be foregoing 100% of my salary and my leadership team will forego 25% of theirs. All other Petco partners will be impacted with temporary reduced hours, salary reductions, or furloughs. Using furloughs enables Petco to leverage the Federal CARES Act exactly as it was intended. It ensures our partners' compensation and benefits, which Petco continues paying for, and critically, it keeps partners attached to Petco and Petco attached to partners. 
which is very important to all of us and important to me. I know these changes are hard, but they are temporary and they will help us avoid even harder changes later on. They keep us all together and they will protect this company that we love so much for the long term. We continue to pay close attention to hear your feedback and we hear all of you. We hear those of you who are asking for more working hours and understand you need to support your families. And we hear some of you who wish we'd shut our doors, but we cannot do that because it wouldn't be fulfilling our mission of improving pet lives. Pets and pet parents need us right now and states have universally recognized us as essential. We hear those of you asking to volunteer to be put on furlough, even when we have work for you. We cannot do that. It's not allowed with the CARES Act. We hear those of you that say your stores are already understaffed and question why we're furloughing store partners. We hear you and are doing our best to match staffing with reduction in store traffic and sales given the stay at home orders. The fact is these are uncharted, unprecedented times and there are no perfect or easy solutions to anything that we're experiencing. Many decisions we've made since the pandemic began have been the hardest we have ever or will ever face. We may not be perfect and not everyone will be happy with every decision, but we've tried to empower you with choices and provided you with as much support as possible. And hearing from you every day gives us confidence that we're making more right choices than wrong. And where we get it wrong, please understand these are uncharted waters and we will adjust. From the opportunity to work or the option to stay home to the additional paid leave to the Petco Partner Assistance Fund, we have tried to provide for your needs. You have shown me that we are one Petco family, that we can and we will overcome this challenge and we'll do it while staying true to who we are in the process. We are resilient. We will be stronger on the other side and we will continue to improve the lives of pets and people all over this country. We are Petco Strong, and our best days are ahead, I promise you. So please know I'm here for you. If you have a concern about your safety at work, please raise it. If something we're doing feels off, please let me know. And please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Thank you very much.